Hello, and welcome back to the Curve Log, Entry 270. Today we are going to be starting the weekly story on Alexander Pubshishkin, who is also known as the Chessboard Killer. However, before we get into that, I would like to announce some holidays that are happening today. Today is Veterans Day, which I assume is only in the US because it doesn't state any other countries or anything like that. And it is also Remembrance Day in Canada. So let's let us take a moment of silence for all the veterans who have put their lives for us. And now Without further ado, let's get into it. Part 1. The Disappearing Neighbors The closer a person is to you, the better you know them, the more pleasurable it is to kill them. Alexander Pushushkin at his trial Moscow, 2001 People, mostly men, were disappearing from the lower class neighborhood around a pit Bitshevsky Park. Though gossiping older women pondered the whereabouts of the missing men, police didn't investigate. Were they otherwise occupied, taking bribes, or did they not simply not care about a missing alcoholic? It's unclear. Many victims even came from the same building complex. A young man named Alexander Pushishkin lived there with his mother, Nat Natalia. As Natalia would later tell JQ Magazine, if he had killed people, he didn't know in another. If he had killed people, he didn't know in another neighborhood, it wouldn't have been as bad, but he killed people he knew. Sounds like this is getting off to a very interesting start. I can't wait to see what part two brings in tomorrow's video. Be sure to give the video a like, comment down below, also hit subscribe and the bell notification so you're made aware of new videos. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and funkiness. Bye, guys.